Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a technical issue that I experienced in the past and I know many of you guys might encounter this. So Mr. Yellow Boy left a comment. Thank you, sir, for the suggestion. And he says, okay, so I know how to change a pitch, but my issue is more of a settings issue. I knew before, but forgot how to fix it. So I changed the pitch of an instrument, but when I press play, the pitch plays at its default. So I believe he's referring to automating the pitch. So I'm going to show this here. This here, this pitch knob, you can put it in upwards or downwards direction. You can create an automation clip for it. So many times we'll create an automation clip, but when we delete that clip or if that clip is removed from the playlist, it keeps resetting to a value that we don't want. And I'm going to demonstrate with you guys here uh, I've automated the mix amount for this fruity filter. So I've set it so that it goes to 0%. So let's say that, let's just make a hypothetical. Let's say I want 0% and you know I'm like, hey, you know what? I want 100%. Well, the uh, automation clip on the playlist is gonna put that back to zero, which is, you know, that's logical. It puts it at zero, brings it back. But let's say we remove this. I'm going to right click it. Now, I won't delete it just yet because I'm going to show you each step of the process and how we can solve this. Now, let's say I reset this and I'm like, okay, I don't see it. Clearly, the automation clip still exists, but it's not on the playlist. Will it still be 100%? So let's play this back. No, it won't. It will still go back to that same value that was set in that automation clip. So this is probably what's going on with your pitch. Maybe you set it to a high value and you're like, what's going on? It keeps going back to that value. So there are a couple things that you want to do with this. Uh, firstly, I would delete the automation clip. Um, you can see that here in the picker. You just go to automation clips and you'll see it there. You'll also see it here in your pattern window if you select all or automation. So here I'm going to right click and delete or you can go here. I'm going to right click and delete. So now what will happen? I'm going to right click and reset. Will we have 100%? No. And the automation clip's gone, right? Like why is it still doing that? And the thing you want to keep in mind is that it initializes the song. There's always that initialized song with an initial value. See this in its song with this position. So let's try unchecking that. What is that going to do? We're still at zero. I'm going to reset it. Still goes to zero. So that didn't really do anything. We couldn't uncheck it. Go ahead and open up this panel and navigate to your initialized controls. So I was checking this out today and you'll see this here, filter mix level. That is still telling it to go back to that initial value. So go ahead and delete this event. Okay, that's just under your current project and you'll see it right there, initialized controls. So when you delete it, now there's nothing in that folder anymore. Uh, what will happen? It's still at zero, but if I reset it, we're back to 100%, we're back to 50%, we can reset it, we can create an automation clip, but just keep that in mind. When you create an automation clip, it does set like this baseline value. And if you want to fix that, go into current projects, go to initialize controls, delete the event, and then do with it what you will. If you want to reset it, if you want to do a new automation clip, it's totally up to you. So uh, this was something. Uh, thank you for the suggestion, Yellow Boy. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Sometimes those little small problems can be really annoying and, and kind of difficult to, to navigate around, especially like in my early years. Man, in my early years, like I would open up a synth like Nexus and I didn't even know how to pitch modulate it. And I was just puzzled. I just didn't know what I was doing. And sometimes the, sim the solutions are simpler than we than we think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to smash up that like button. Uh, means a lot. And remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys are alerted of all these great videos when they are readily available out of that hot, fresh donut oven pastry thing. And uh, I've been really getting inspired by Jonas Aiden's videos. He's an amazing producer. So I'm thinking about making like some reaction videos to my old FLPs and songs. So if you guys have any other suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I love it when you guys comment or let me know of a technical issue because I love helping you guys and it also helps me become a better producer as well. We're all brothers and sisters in arms. We're all in this together in the end. 
So I'll see you guys in the next video. Today's Sunday, Sunday fun day, so it's going to be a double upload, so you'll see another upload coming soon. Take care.